Right, Sal, I see you've brought some uh, medical equipment to be appraised today and inspected. Now, um, do you work in the medical field or have you ever worked in that area? Let's have a little look at the pieces then. So you have the human brain here with the two hemispheres. So I'm going to inspect the quality. Excellent. Have your lungs here, left and right lung, and the windpipe there. Marvellous. Looks to be the liver here. That's looking fine. And the pump to the system is the heart. Great condition there. This looks to be the small intestine there. Lovely. And the large intestine. Condition's looking good. A few little marks there. And finally, we have the kidneys. Let's have a little look. Renal artery, the renal vein. Excellent. I do like this set. I do like to collect medical equipment. So let me make you an offer today. Let's have a little look what we've got. Right, I'm going to say ten pound. Not finished yet. Twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen fifty. Fourteen pound. And. 20 pence there. Would you like to take the offer? Okay, let's have a look at your next item. So you've got five sets of spectacles. Just looking briefly at each of the lenses. Looks as though these are bifocal lenses glazed into these lovely frames here. Now where have these all come from? That they've been passed down through the family. That's absolutely fine. Before I can make you an offer, I just want to briefly inspect the integrity of each frame there. I'm just going to have a look at various features, including the lenses. A little bit of detail there. And then maybe we can make an offer afterwards. So I have a metal frame there. An extra bridge there, gold finish, D segment bifocals. Let's have a little look at the lenses there. Okay, that pair looks lovely, and was definitely drawn towards these. these round style frames with the d-segment bifocals let's have a little look so we have flexible sides the frame quality is good no signs of any frame defects looking a little bit more detail there and the lenses they are plain uncoated lenses there it's absolutely fine. And then I notice we have some sunglass lens bifocals. Plastic lenses. It's very dark, so they will allow you to uh, walk around on holiday or in the sun, be able to see distance, and that person would have been able to read up close whilst having ultraviolet protection. Just have a look at the style and the tips of the frame there. The lenses just ensure there's no defects. 
scratches or chips they're actually in lovely condition there and that's brown this is a grey pair uh, the tint intensity is a little less than the brown there flexible sides and it's a D segment bifocal and just a brief look at the frame especially like these sides here it's like a matte finish padless and the rest on the nose there the plastic bridge and again the lenses are in wonderful condition there so I do like this set I'm going to make you an offer let's have a little look what do we have here I have to say 20 40 60 80 90 British Her Majesties. Are you going to take the offer? Hello there, madam. Did you used to be an audiologist? Okay, and you are retired. I see you've acquired some equipment from over the years in practice. Let's start with what we call the otoscope. Cast my eye over the pieces. Hopefully I can make you a generous offer for everything. You have the viewing portal. The magnification window there. A few little scratches. But that shouldn't hinder us. I like the two-tone effect. Flip the switch. We have a good light source there. Let's check the handle. That's looking fine. I don't notice you have your model ears for showing the patient what specifically you're looking for. It's an excellent idea. You have a set. Here is your right ear. Looking good, but I will have a look with the light source. At the left ear first. Check the lobule, tragus. Ear canal, concha, helix. That's looking good. And for the second ear. All the structures look fine. So those are a lovely set of ears there. Good otoscope. Your speculars ear, which you can reuse. You disinfect. Marvellous. And I did note that you have a, a little intricate set of ear cleaning tools here. Have a little look. Obviously these can be sterilised because they're metal. So you have your a little scrapers there in various sizes are marvellous, the condition looks fine. Little wax workers there. This one is more flexible and curved to reach into the ear canal with a little bit more precision. And this one is fixed and firm, so a good range there. Excellent. I do like the set. So let me make you an offer there. Let's have a little Right, let's say 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 115, because I'm feeling generous there, with an extra 2. Four, six, 
11 pence there. Would you like to take the offer? Right, so as I was rummaging through your storeroom, looking at all the wonderful medical equipment available to my eye, I noticed a complete set of Cardiff Acuity visual testing cards by Keeler. Now the case is a little bit discoloured but it's still all intact. The locking system works and the handle is fine for transportation. And I've been looking through all the cards and I particularly like um, some of the images on these cards. Now, uh, for the practitioner, it tells you what the picture is um, at one meter, what the vision would be, and at 50 centimeters there for the practitioner to record. So let me have a little look at the pictures and show you the quality that we're dealing with here. So we have the fish. We have your house. We have a boat there. Excellent condition. Okay, and we have Mr. Quack Quack there. Notice that I'm not placing any fingers on the image. It's it progressively harder for the patient. Okay, excellent quality imaging there. Do you feel you can see the last image there? It's going to alter the angle a little bit there. Okay, what do you think you can see there? Okay, here we have Mrs. Quack Quack there. Excellent, so that would be performed at the specific distance whether that's one meter or 50 centimeters, the patient will have cleared their eyes. But enough of that, that's a brilliant set. Let me make you a fabulous offer there. Fabulous offer. 20, 40, 50, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 150 pounds there. Would you like to take the offer? Okay, moving on to our next item in this lovely felt and velvet case. The case is in perfect condition. It's going to provide great protection for this optical piece here. Do you know what this is? This is a Welsh Allen handheld ophthalmoscope. You can check things like pupil reactions to light and looking at the external eye and through the eye at the retina. So it's battery powered, two AA batteries there. Have a little pocket clip there, all the print is wonderful. You have your on switch here, which also acts as your brightness setting there. Okay, so it's obviously in working order there. And we have your little window here that tells you the dioptric power that you're on. If we flip up or down, we have a wider range of powers there, plus and minus, for focusing on the optic surface that we so require. Okay, and we have the white, sorry, the white and the green filters there. Okay, we go back to 
to the white. As you can see, we have a range of apertures, and a perfect circle there. So we have the large aperture, medium, and the small aperture for looking at the macula. We have a cobalt blue filter there if you're popping any fluorescent dye into the eyes and use the blue light for assessment there. We have the slit for horizontal or vertical checking of the eye. We have your target there for checking any potential eccentric fixation focusing on the macular area there and back to the large aperture there. So knocking that off, that is a wonderful piece. I would certainly like to own that. Let me make you an offer there. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200 pounds there. I'm going to offer you 200 pounds for the Welsh Allen Pocket Ophthalmoscope.